If you're a fan of internal combustion, it is time to get on board with hypertensions, because electrification is among the few technologies that will let them stay for longer. In this episode, we'll cover the newest electrified non-plug-in models that both improve performance and allow manufacturers to hit those ever more stringent emission standards. Subscribe to Automotive Territory to stay on top of the latest news within the world of cars and enjoy the ride. Honda HRV eHEV. This model was completely reinterpreted as a compact coupe SUV with purely electrified nature. To highlight the change, the muscular grille appears to be closed off and was painted in the bodywork matching color. The styling of the full LED headlights and rear light spanning across the rear door is all new as well. In terms of the powertrain, Honda adopts quite deceiving sales tactics from Toyota and calls the next gen HRV a self charging hybrid. Admittedly, though, this is a superior system where a 1.5 liter engine is not connected with the wheels. Instead, it works only as a generator, while twin electric motors provide propulsion. The resulting output is 129 horsepower and 187 pound feet of instant torque. An important argument for the loyal Honda drivers is that the third generation retains its central fuel tank layout, which means that the so called magic seats continue to be on offer. Nissan X Trail Just like its North American sibling, the X Trail crossover enters a new generation with a fresher exterior design, more technology, and improved connectivity features. The model looks rather similar to the Rogue, sporting the brand's V Motion grille flanked by the split LED headlights. The only announced drivetrain option is a new generation e power hybrid system that should rely on an electric motor that drives the wheels and a 1.5 liter turbo four cylinder that recharges the onboard battery. Nissan also promises a flexible interior layout with up to seven seats that will be equipped with a 12.3 inch driver's display, a 10.8 inch infotainment, enhanced pro pilot safety systems, and standard zero gravity seats. For now, the updated X Trail shall debut in China, while the European markets will have to wait for its arrival till summer 2022. Maserati Levante Hybrid Maserati seems to be ready to put behind them the diesel variant of their flagship SUV and replace it with a faster and cleaner hybrid. One will be able to differentiate the electrified version by the unique metallic tri coat color called Azuro Astro and some additional blue accents both inside and out. The Trident Batch model combines the 4-cylinder 2-liter engine with a 48-volt e-booster system that recovers energy during deceleration and braking. The weight distribution was improved by placing the battery in the rear, and engineers managed not to compromise the load capacity. The Levante Hybrid is exclusively all-wheel drive and can make 330 horsepower and 332 pound-feet of torque, available at just 2,250 rpm. This SUV has the top speed of 150 miles per hour and gets to 60 in 6 seconds. Destroy the like button to promote this video and support our channel. Thanks for the feedback, and let's get back to the new hybrids. Hyundai Tucson Since its introduction in 2005, the Tucson has taken a few big leaps in terms of styling, build quality, and technology. The latest one marks the beginning of the compact crossover's fourth generation and brings a more aggressive and futuristic design and for the first time can be paired with a hybrid drivetrain. Unlike many other hybrids in the market, the Tucson relies on a turbocharged instead of a naturally aspirated engine. The 1.6 liter mil is paired with a single electric motor and a 1.49 kWh battery pack, ensuring all-wheel drive capability and netting 226 horses and 195 pound-feet. Depending on the trim level, the system returns 36 to 38 mpg in a combined cycle. Most Tucson's get black or grey cloth upholstery and boast heated front seats, push-button start, digital gauge cluster, and a full suite of Hyundai Smart Sense safety tech. Lexus ES The 300h version of the midsize sedan is facelifted alongside the entire ES range, and in select markets, 
director will debut in the most athletic F-Sport guys. Depending on the trim level, the S-Hybrid boasts new mesh grille design by LED headlights with auto-leveling and several available wheel styles. In case of the F-Sport, it is additionally differentiated by the special badging, dark grille surrounds and black 19-inch 5-spoke wheels. When it comes to the drivetrain system, this year there are no changes. The AES continues to be powered by a 2.5-liter 4-cylinder working in pair with a permanent magnet electric motor for the maximum output of 215 horses and efficiency of 44 mpg. Every AES now comes with enhanced Alexa Safety System Plus 2.5 and a repositioned 8-inch infotainment with touchscreen functionality. Mercedes-Benz C-Class Electrification strategy by Mercedes includes mild hybrids, PHEVs and fully electric vehicles under the EQ brand. In case of the freshly redesigned C-Class, it is the former technology that works for the seamless start-stop function, intelligent assistance at low engine speed and surely improved fuel economy. The subtle exterior changes can be noticed by the thinner headlights, downturned grille, new alloys from 17 to 19 inches, slimmer taillights, and chrome exhaust tips. The engine's lineup consists of 1.5-liter 4-cylinder petrols from 170 to 258 horsepower and 2-liter diesels from 164 to 265 HP. Petrol or diesel, all of the variants receive a 48-volt EQ bus tech. The major change for the best-selling Mercedes saloon is its tech package that is closely related to the S-Class. Hence, we welcome a 10 or 12-inch portrait infotainment, 360-degree camera, semi-autonomous driving up to 130mph, and digital headlights. Hyundai Kona Hybrid In 2021, the entire Kona range can be electrified in one form or another. But today our attention is focused on the tandem of a 1.6-liter GDI 4-cylinder and an electric motor wired to a 1.56 kWh battery pack. This duo delivers 142 horsepower and 195 pound-feet of torque and can run on pure electric power for about 2 miles to keep you fuel efficient in case you are held up in traffic. In its base SE Connect trim, the Kona Hybrid comes with 17-inch alloy wheels, black roof rails, LED DRLs and a rear spoiler with integrated LED brake light. Inside the biggest argument is the brand's latest infotainment setup that comes with full smartphone integration and a large 10.25-inch touchscreen. Also new is the front passenger seat height adjustment. Nissan Qashqai Though still built on the CMFC platform, the 2022 Qashqai transitions to the third generation, adding about an inch in all directions. Its front end puts on the latest V-Motion grill and razor-sharp front lights, and the resulting look is quite daring and futuristic. In Europe, the compact crossover completely abandons non-hybrid engines in favor of two 1.3-liter mild hybrids or a 1.5-liter e-power hybrid system. The latter peaks at 187 horsepower that are produced by the electric motor that actually drives the model's wheels and guarantees impressive driving dynamics. Moreover, it offers one-pedal driving, just like on the electric Nissan Leaf. The updated crossover takes advantage of the revised McPherson-style suspension, better cabin materials, new 12.3-inch digital dash, and a 9-inch infotainment. Toyota Yaris Cross Adventure and Premier Edition Based on the all-new hybrid-only Yaris Cross, these are the most off-road-focused grades of the model. The Adventure is one of the crossover's standard trims, distinguished from the regular model by the new bumper protection, silver roof rails, 18-inch alloy wheels with a dark grey finish, and a special dark gold interior trim. In 2021, the Yaris Cross can also be ordered in the limited Premier Edition guys that builds on the Adventure. It further boosts the comfort by adding leather seats, powered back door, and a head-up display. Both are powered by the unchanged 1.5-liter hybrid system that delivers 114 horses and can be accompanied by Toyota's intelligent all-wheel drive, which activates autonomously when the road conditions require. T-1 
to yield a Highlander hybrid. The revised Highlander has been present on the US market since 2020 in both hybrid and V6 variants. European dealerships, on the other hand, will be just receiving this SUV that will be offered exclusively as a hybrid. Powered by 2.5-liter Atkinson cycle engine with front and rear electric motors, the system reaches combined output of 247 horses and has intelligent all-wheel drive capability. The fourth-generation full hybrid can move the 7-seater at 78 mph on electric power alone. The standard equipment list includes Toyota Safety Sense with intersection turn assistance, LED lighting, keyless entry, three-zone air conditioning, heated front seats, and an 8-inch infotainment. Higher trims expanded with a head-up display, 20-inch alloys, panoramic roof, JBL 11-speaker audio by Harman, 12.3-inch multimedia, rear seats heating, and a 360-degree camera. Would you say that modern hybrid cars are just automakers grasping for straws and trying to prolong the life of a dying internal combustion technology? Or are they actually a better alternative to plug-in vehicles? Let's discuss these matters in the comments below and make sure to mention your favorite models. Subscribe to Automotive Territory, smash the like button, and as always, may the torque be with you!